And it's one of those things that you won't truly ever get unless you've gone through it. And it, it sucks. Some people might be able to empathize, but I don't think you'll truly ever understand. For those of you who don't know who Elle Mills is, she is an amazing, amazing creator, and she's super young as well. But not too long ago, I think it was maybe two or three months ago, she had a very, very public freak out, and she's been talking more about mental health. She was in an article uh, for NPR. They did a little interview too. And recently she talked to Bobby Burns about mental health. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining how L Mills, as well as many other YouTubers, suffer from being terminally unique. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve your mental health. So what I try to do, I try to take things that are going on in the YouTube community and teach you how you can improve your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. But yeah, this is a great example of so many things of what L Mills is going through, of what Bobby Burns went through, and so many other YouTubers. So Bobby Burns just released a video that he, uh, he made with Elle Mills where they're talking about YouTuber burnout and YouTuber mental health, things like that. In the intro of Bobby's video, he talks about Ethan and Ela from H3H3 Productions. I've done some videos on them if you want to check them out. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to be talking about this video uh, Bobby and Elle made, and we're going to be talking about three different things here. The big one that I want to focus on is what it means to be terminally unique, and you're really going to want to stay tuned until the end of this video because this might be something that's really affecting you as well as your mental health, all right? So the first thing I want to uh, touch on is Elle Mills' freakout video, and um, Bobby Burns uh, played a clip of it, all right? And here's what that looked like. But because her channel blew up so big, and she was doing so much, the anxiety and the depression really got to her. Uh, this is all I ever wanted. And why the f am I so unhappy that? Because, like, this is literally my dream. And I'm fing so unfing happy. It doesn't make any fing sense. It's so stupid. It is so stupid. All right, so I had to bleep out quite a bit of stuff. So, Elle Mills, during this freak out, she's asking herself, why, why, why am I so uh, unhappy? Why am I not happy? This is everything I ever wanted. Why am I not happy? And this is what I'm trying to tell people, right? You were sold a lie. Elle Mills was sold a lie. Bobby Burns was sold a lie. You know what that lie is? It's a lie that so many of us are sold, that if you reach this, you will then be happy. There is no promises in that. So for most YouTubers, it's like, if you meet a certain amount of subscribers, you will be happy. For a lot of us, if you get this certain career or this certain job or this certain boyfriend or girlfriend or husband or wife or children, or if you make this much money, then you will be happy. This is the lie that we are all sold. Happiness must come from within. I talk about this over and over and over and over on my channel. And Elle is fairly young. Bobby is younger than me, but this is why I have this channel and I try to teach all of you that. We need to declutter our brain and get away from that idea that once we get this thing, then we'll be happy. I've talked about it before. People think that success brings happiness, but it's the exact opposite. Happiness will then bring your success, all right? Now, the second thing we're gonna be talking about is expectations and irrational fears. So something that they talked about in this video was the expectations they put on themselves and their fear of taking a break from YouTube. Do you feel like people's expectations are a cause of a lot of that kind of thing or the way you perceive those expectations? It's less them, it's more me coming up with what they're thinking almost. I, I'm like, oh, my audience would not like this video, but I don't know that. I'm just, I, I set these expectations in my head I've set a bar. I now think that every video has to exceed that bar. I, I know when I take long breaks, I all I'm thinking about the anxiety of like, oh my God, I haven't posted in a month. I need to post now or else this is all over. Da -da. It's like, the channel's it's done. Like you're like, yeah. it's gonna, no one's ever gonna watch my videos again. Exactly. All right, this is a very irrational fear about taking a break from YouTube. Very, very, very irrational. Like, okay, to prove my point, 
Let me ask you, okay? And if you want to, feel free to leave a comment down below. What causes you to unsubscribe from a channel, right? Is it because somebody took a break or is it because they make bad content? Which one is it? Have you ever, like, I recently went through like a subscription purge and I unsubscribed from a lot of channels that I just don't watch anymore. You know what I mean? Or ones that I subscribed to and thought I was gonna watch and then I didn't really like the content. So I went through and cleaned it out. But very rarely is it somebody who has very good content that is taking a break. You know what I mean? So in our lives, it's very important to look at rational and irrational fears. This is a huge part about managing anxiety, by the way, is to separate these things. A lot of YouTubers who have taken breaks, they don't lose any of the views. They don't lose many subscribers. You know what I mean? So. It's important that these YouTubers who are getting big and need to take breaks like normal people do, they need to overcome that irrational fear. But the other thing that they talked about was their, their expectations, right? And they were having this kind of conversation, this back and forth of, you know, is it the expectations that the audience is putting on us or is it the expectations we're putting on ourselves? This is something that you need to ask yourself as well. When you are living in fear, right? Is this good enough? Is that good enough? Da, da, da. Whose expectations are you trying to live up to? Yourself or others, you know what I mean? Like, for me, you know, back when my mental health was really, really poor, like, I always thought that I had to be the best and da 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 I had to impress people and the people in my life who loved me, they were gonna support me no matter what. You know what I mean? So a lot of those expectations I was putting on myself. So we need to start looking at realistic and unrealistic expectations. You see what I'm saying? And this is especially true for any type of creator out there. Like, I talk to so many creators just now that I'm more into the YouTube community community and stuff and there are so many people who just overthink and I am just the king of overthinking. I get it. I make stuff and I put it out. I make stuff and I put it out because if I overthink of it and I'm just like, oh, is this too much? Is this not good enough? Could I have done better? And If I keep thinking about that, I will never just put any content onto the channel. You know what I mean? This is why we have to start building confidence. We need to overcome that imposter syndrome, all right? So the last thing, the third thing that we're gonna be talking about is being terminally unique, all right? So I was watching this over on my Twitch stream with um, some of my followers on there. So make sure you go follow me on Twitch. But this part made me just go on this huge rant. YouTube is like a hotbed for creating mental health problems, I think. I agree. I think it's created a whole new set of problems that people have never even had before. I know, I agree with that. It, it, I, I honestly, I think maybe it would be on a lower scale, but if I hadn't done YouTube, I don't think I would have a lot of these mental health problems. I really truly believe that. And it's it's sad. A lot of people who are outside, like watching in, would be like, then stop it. It's ruining your mental health. It's my passion. I, I, I know nothing else. I would not want anything else is all I've worked for. The thing that makes you the most happy is also making you the most unhappy. All right, like, yes, like, okay, so what's it mean to be terminally unique? Okay, let's break that down first. Terminally unique is something that people told me about because my mental health was extremely poor. Those of you who don't know me, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, and I always thought, you can't help me, there's no saving me, you don't know me, right? I'm different, okay? This might have worked for you, but I'm different. So I was so different than everybody else, my brain told me that it was actually going to kill me. We have brains that look for the differences rather than the similarities. So when I saw Elle and Bobby talking about this, I'm like, oh my God, these kids are terminally unique. Like, the fact that they think that they're like, uh, YouTube has bred this whole new, you know, type of problems. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. The problems that you're going through, the problems that they're going through, it doesn't matter if you're a YouTuber or you work at McDonald's, it doesn't matter. These are problems that people go through, okay? It doesn't matter if you're on your YouTube or you're just a workaholic. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure, there's differences in like how many eyeballs are on you, but it all comes from that place. But YouTube is not the first platform where people have created. People have been painting for thousands and thousands of years. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they had to present something. These are not 
problems specific to YouTubers. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of them have poor mental health because they have this brain that says, nobody understands, nobody gets it. Oh, I'm the only one who's going through this. No, and this is why people need to get in more support groups and things like that. Even if your support group is just a group text or a Discord channel or a Facebook group, whatever it is, it helps to let you know that you're not alone. Now, what I did like is that you saw Bobby and Elle connecting on that. They realized like, oh my God, you get it. You understand how I feel and everything like that. You guys, let me tell you, that is literally the best thing that you can do for your mental health. That's why I try to encourage you all to leave comments because just reading through the comments, when you're seeing that you're not the only one going through something, it is just a breath of fresh air, all right? But like I said, like they need to get out of this terminally unique mindset that they're the only ones who are going through this, you know? And this is what, like, this is what creates a lot of arguments in our society is people think they're so much different. Like, have you ever had somebody who works a quote unquote harder job than you? Like, it's all relative, right? Like, they're like, oh, you, you would understand if you worked the job that I work, oh, you know, and all that stuff. Like, it is important to say like, no matter what job people have, there's gonna be their own stresses. It's all going to be, uh, uh, you know, their own specific things. But, you know, like, we all go through the same emotions, the same feelings, sometimes the same misery, sometimes the same fears. Like, this is why I try to get down to the root of the problem. You know what I mean? So for example, when they're worried about what kind of content that they're putting out, they have this fear, okay? It's a fear of not being liked, right? Or fear of being negatively judged or any type of fear. These are fears that people have at any job. You see what I'm saying? So when we get down to that baseline, to the root of things, we start to see that we have a lot more in common than we thought. I've mentioned this on my channel before, but this is one of the reasons why I, I absolutely hate social hierarchies. You know what I mean? People believe that their status means that they're so much different. But something I learned a long time ago is that we're all going through our own stresses and struggles, and we can find common ground with anybody. I learned this years ago and it helps me relate to everybody. Like I developed this ability thanks to people training me how to do this. I've developed this ability where I can sit down with just about anybody and I can relate. I can relate to what they're going through. Okay. I'm a father, but I can relate to people who are mothers, right? You know what I mean? Like, even though like, I can look at it and say, well, I'm a man and you're a woman, so we don't have anything in common. No, 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 no. I have an ability now to see the similarities. But anyways, that's all I got. I am gl glad that Bobby Burns is talking more about mental health and things like that. Let me know your comments down below. What are your thoughts on YouTuber burnout and all that kind of stuff, okay? But that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental health. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, you are all amazing. And if you would like to check out some sweet Rewired Soul merch, click or tap right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Quit being terminally unique and I'll see you next time.